Uh, efficient market hypothesis. Yeah, I think we can do that. You want to do that on your whiteboard, Brian? Or Yeah. Boy, how many times do we get this question, right? What's that? This is the number one email I get for Series 65. <laughs> My class notes list the characteristics, the simple characteristics that you need to know for the 65 and 66 as well. Yeah, I think we both agree, Brian, that test prep vendors make this more complicated than it really is. Yeah, they they go into the the uh, fundamental and technical analysis, part right, right, of it, yeah, and the test never does. By the way, so there's three forms of the hypothesis, and there's always four answer choices. So you know you can always eliminate one of them, right? There's mm -hmm. no such thing as semi weak. That's like being <laughs> semi pregnant. <laughs> So basically, it's just a pyramid of amount of information, the least amount of information, such as price and or volume of a, an investment, or sometimes they call that historical data. That's just a, a historical price. That's the weakest form. There's the least amount of information. On top of that, you then add to that financials from the corporation, like balance sheets and income statements financial statements, sometimes referred to simply as public information. So we got a little bit more information now. Now we're semi-strong. The strongest form is when you have all available information, the financial information, as well as information known to insiders like mergers and acquisitions and such, uh, those sorts of things. We can call that private information or again, like I said, information known to insiders. So again, notice, it's just a pyramid of information. The least amount is the weakest form. The most amount is the strongest form. <clears throat> How's that in 32 seconds? Well, I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, I would add that, uh, you know, strong form, nothing works basically, right? Now, that That's doesn't right. mean we don't tell you to, to buy something. It would be uh, here an index fund where you're willing an to index fund. Exactly. a market-based return, right? that uh, there is no seeking alpha, so to speak, because it right. doesn't exist.